Hello and welcome everyone again in the quick analysis series. This is more to chess. Today I am presenting quick analysis between Daniel Dubow with white pieces and Magnus Carlsen with black pieces of the ongoing tournament Opera Euro Rapid 2021 quarter final round 2.3. Okay, so let's start now. Dubow starts with the move d4. Magnus plays knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, b6. This setup is known as Queen's Indian defense. g3, bishop b7, bishop g2, and bishop b4 check. This setup is known as Capablanca variation of Queen's Indian defense. White defense with the move bishop d2, c5. Defending the bishop, bishop takes b4, c takes b4, castle, castle, and knight bd2. Trying to push the e4 pawn in the future. a5, protecting the b4 pawn. Rook e1, now pushing e4, and d6. Dubo played e4, here white enjoying the center. Black played knight fd7, queen e2, trying to push e5, and black plays e5 himself. e5 is a mistake. Here the best move is queen c7, preventing the move e5. White will play rook ad1, then rook d8, and the position is almost equal theoretically, but Magnus played e5. Dubo played rook a d1. Rook a d1 is a good move, but the best move here is knight f1 with the idea of knight e3 and knight d5 in future, followed by queen c7, preventing e5, rook a c1, pinning the queen and activating the rook, rook e8, trying to take the pawn on e4, knight e3 with tempo move knight d5 and also knight f5 knight c6 d cross e5 d cross e5 and knight d5 protecting the queen queen d8 and rook c d1 and white have a very dominant position with active pieces covering all strong squares and files but dubo played rook a d1 which is also a good move knight c6 Knight c6 is also a mistake. Here, Dubo played the best reply, knight f1, with previous idea of knight e3 and knight d5. Magnus played queen f6. Again, the big blunder by world champion. Dubo played knight e3. Here, Dubo missed a beautiful idea. The beautiful idea is d cross e5, knight at d cross e5 knight h4 rook a d8 f4 knight g6 and then knight f3 and white enjoys the position very comfortable position weakness on d6 and white have a great beautiful center but dubo played knight e3 black plays knight cross d4 knight cross d4 e takes d4 and then e5. e5 is a huge blunder which can turn a winning game for Dubo into a draw. The best move here is knight f5 attacking the d4 pawn which cannot be protected. Knight c5 attacking e4 twice and also preventing e5 ideas by white by protecting the b7 bishop. Rook takes d4 attacking the d6 pawn which will fall eventually if you will play rook a d8 then white will play rook e d1 so nice position for white but dubo played e5 queen takes e5 bishop takes bishop attacking the rook rook a7 attacking the bishop queen g4 with some nasty attacking ideas knight f6 attacking the queen Queen takes d4, rook takes bishop, queen takes d6, 
Here Magnus plays queen cross b2. Now again a dirty end game blunder. Here the best thing is to convert into an end game which is equal as shown by engines. The idea is to take the d6 pawn to take on d6 with the queen. Then rook takes d6, rook e8, doubling the rook with d1 and h5 black and black is completely fine with no weaknesses but magnus plays queen takes b2 rook d2 attacking the queen queen c3 knight d1 attacking the queen again and rook e8 and here comes the last biggest blunder of the game rook cross e8 knight cross e8 attacking the queen knight cross c3 and here magnus resigns the game because after knight takes d6 rook take d6 and you cannot take the knight with b cross c3 because of the mate coming on d8 so you have to play king f8 and then knight d5 and white is completely a piece up so therefore magnus resigns okay so that's all for today hope you enjoyed the game thank you